Hi folks, welcome back to another episode of Isilon Quick Tips. And today we're actually gonna map a share drive using SMB. So think of your Windows environment, being able to set up shares for home directories to share data between it, maybe share files between some sort of organization. And today we're gonna actually look at how to do that through the protocols. So from here in the 1FS directory, the first thing we'll go to is we'll go to our protocols and the SMB shares. And so you can see from here that we already have one created and this one comes as default and this is that IFS directory. And so the IFS directory, as you know, is everything that's in Isilon is under that directory. So if we went back and we looked at our file system storage using the file system explorer, as that's pulling up, you can see that under our IFS directory, we have a home directory, a data directory and a couple different other ones. And so we can actually dr drill down and look here. Now I'm gonna switch over and look at our file explorer. And you can see that I already have the IFS directory mapped here. This matches up with what we were seeing within the 1FS web GUI. And so you see that I have my data directory and my home directory, one of my subdirectories in those. And you'll notice here, when we map the directory that I use the IP address of the node that I was using, but that's only because I don't have DNS set up on my local machine but in most of your instances, you'll have that DNS name that you'll use here that's actually your smart connect name. And let's go through and actually set up another SMB share. And so say that within our directory that we have a file share that we wanna set up for all of our movie data and say that you know we have different movie research that we're doing and we will set up a specific share around that. And so it's really simple to do. So we'll back under our protocols menu, just gonna create an SMB share and we'll call this one movies. And this is just all of our movie research data. We'll set it for everyone to share. And then here, we'll just actually say the path. So anything under IFS, remember back it's under data, our home directory. You can see that I've got some files under here and there are IMDB movie information and a couple different other ones. The directory's already been created, so we don't need to check this box here. And we're gonna let it apply the default ACLs, but you can actually set it so that it doesn't change any existing. And this comes in really in handy whenever you're setting up a share on a subdirectory file, or you didn't want it to traverse all the subdirectories under it, you just wanted to make that share available. We're gonna keep the account settings all the same here, and we'll go ahead and create that share. And now if we wanna set up that share so that we can see it, we're gonna open our file explorer We'll go in here and we'll map that network drive. I'm gonna select a specific drive. Just as a reminder, if you have that Smart Connect name, you'll wanna use that here. I don't have Smart Connect set up or DNS, so I'm gonna use my IP address. And now you can see I have that file share. And now I can start moving over my movie data and open up my files and being able to share our documents for all of our movie research. And that's how simple it is to set up an SMB share and. Isilon's 1FS. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can get more Isilon quick tips.